Now we're going to look at the lighting. Um, just looking around the scene, we can see that we're going to have several uh, light sources. Those being the um, the spotlights on the ceiling that we inserted earlier on, as well as the um, the windows. And uh, since this is a day scene, we're going to have sunlight coming in through these windows. Okay, the first lights I'm going to edit are the spots against the wall over here. Okay. So by just uh, adjusting my camera so I can see uh, all of them, I'm going to go and edit their light properties. To do this, you can either click on the light setting menu and go down to edit light, or you can click on the light icon. So go either way, um, I'm going to click on that one. And uh, you can either select the lights individually by just clicking on them, or you can drag a selection window around all of them. Since we're going to be giving them all the same properties, you can just select all of them. And under type, we're going to make those spotlights. Okay. And now we've got options like changing the color of the light, changing the, um, just make that white again, changing the wattage, so you could have 50 watt bulbs, 45, 60, um, anything you want actually. I'm going to leave those at 45. You can change the type of light. So anything from um, incandescent to electricity saving. And also the direction in which they um, shine. So <coughs> I'm just going to have them shining down. You can also change the spread of the light. So you want to focus the beam a bit more. And uh, the fall off basically controls how smooth this edge is. So the higher the fall off, the smoother the edge of the light on the wall. And direct calculate basically just turns them on. Okay, so we can just close that. And we're going to do exactly the same to the uh, lights at the back, except this time we're going to use a special light called an IES light. Basically an IES light is a light model where lighting data has been recorded and will give you a very realistic lighting effect. Most light manufacturers um, should have IES files on their site, so you can go to their websites and just get those files to use in your scenes. Um, to select the default IES of uh, Interior CAD, you can go to the light setting again, so light setting, edit light, and select all of these, and under type choose IES, and if it doesn't take you to the IES folder by default, you can just go to the drive on which um, your T3 is installed, choose the T3 folder, VR, IES, and any one of these. I'm going to be choosing Spotlight and IES number one. And uh, we can leave everything as default there. The next step in the process is uh, to make the um, windows a light source. So to do that, you're going to go to the light setting uh, menu, you're going to choose new light, and you're going to click on the panes of glass. So you select the top one, and to uh, select multiple objects, hold down shift and left click. And once they're both selected, right click, and these will now be set as lights. So the next thing you can do is just edit their properties by going to light setting, edit light, selecting both of them, and then just changing the type to sunlight. And then you can also do things like just adjust uh, where they come in through the window. So, there you go. If you have a hard time playing with the sliders, you can also use this function called pick. It just allows you to choose an area in the room for the light to shine on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And make sure you just tick visible. This will make the light visible when you do your render. And uh, looking at the lights behind us, or the windows behind us, we're going to turn these into um, light sources as well. So once again, light setting, new light. Select the panes. There we go. And uh, right click. Now using your light edit, edit light, select that. And we can make uh, the sunlight but make each of these 500. There we go. And uh, that is our basic lighting of the room done. Um, <coughs> we're going to do 
a quick uh, radiosity which is basically just turning on the lights